8 o'clock so I am now going to walk around or walk across campus. One of the nice things about being an interpreter is you get a lot of walking during the work day. Good afternoon. Just got off work and going to head home but I think I'm going to need to grab something to drink from Tim Hortons because I am very sleepy. It is Wednesday. Um, I just finished a pretty long day actually. Um, it wasn't too crazy. Um, had, a, had one long assignment in the morning, then had uh, little get together at work which is nice they had like uh, coffee hot chocolate a few snacks uh, just as kind of like a workplace get together to meet new people and make connections so that was pretty fun uh, then I got to help some people with a computer problem that they were having had a core team meeting uh, which is the group of interpreters that I work with uh, more often in the same college uh, so I work mostly in the colleges, College of Imaging Arts and Sciences, so film, photography, uh, painting, drawing, all the arts. Uh, so had a meeting there and we had some guest presenters come and talk about the new master's degree in healthcare interpreting that is going to be offered through the university. Uh, so that was cool. Uh, I don't really have an interest in doing that particular degree program, but it's cool that it's being offered. And after that I had an on-call assignment and I am now off work. So it was a good day, it was productive, and that is always a good thing. Are you changing the right Thank, you. Thank you. And this will help keep me awake on the way home. While my wife was out this afternoon with our children, uh, my one-year-old dropped a mitten. So I am on a mission to find this mitten on the way home. So they went from the library 
down Main Street. So I am going to check first the library parking lot and then from there <laughs> drive kind of slowly uh, to see if I can spot it along the side of the road uh, because if I don't have to buy another set of mittens, might as well just try to find it. So we'll see if I can spot it anywhere. But it's been since this afternoon, so I'm wondering if uh, it may have been picked up or set to the side. So I'm going to try to do my best to spot it. It's pink, so it should be pretty easy to spot. Here, but let's drive into the parking lot. So I would assume they would have done kind of a straight shot to the stairs. So looking for a little pink mitten. Like I said, it may have been picked up already. That's the only, only thing. So let's just put on scanning, scanning, because there's potential for it to have fallen off in the road guessing probably at intersections it might be more likely that it would have fallen off because they would have stopped. I didn't see it. Make one more pass. So after driving down I didn't see the glove so I decided to go back to the library and see if it was dropped in close enough proximity to the library to be uh, picked up and returned to the library in the lost and found. And look what I found. So it was on their table um, so it was brought back to the library. So mission accomplished. So now I'm gonna go home, pick up the girls, and do some grocery shopping. Well, I am going to drink some tea and read a book and then go to bed. So I hope you had a good day and I will see you later.